Chairman, I'd like to start by asking all of the nominees the following two initial questions, and I would like a verbal response from you on these questions. Since you became a legal adult, have any of you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any verbal or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No. 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 Have any of you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of conduct? No. 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 A number of my concerns have been um, touched upon by um, other members of this committee, so I'll, I'll go over some of these very quickly. Uh, Dr. Carlin, is both Senator Shaheen and Senator Blumenthal have expressed their concerns, which I share, about the, what will happen to Afghan women and girls after we leave. So um, I just want you to know that I share this concern, and, and my expectation is that you will uh, be focused on what you can do to support the women and girls. Uh, in particular, a number of us signed a le letter, or sent a letter to the president asking him to quickly appoint an ambassador at large for global women's issues as a point person for the administration on these issues. So with regard to Afghan women and girls, and I would expect that uh, you would be working with that person. Thank you, Senator, uh, for raising this important issue along with your colleagues. If confirmed, I would absolutely commit to the women, peace, and security work uh, that you. we have seen is playing such an important role globally. For uh, Mr. Del Toro, uh, you've, been, you've been asked a number of questions about the importance of uh, the modernization of the shipyards, and these are issues that Senator Shaheen and I uh, always bring up at these hearings. Uh, I would like your commitment also to, uh, to, to really focus on what we can do to reduce the significant cost overruns that we are experiencing with the new dry dock uh, construction that's happening at Portsmouth because the next dry dock on the agenda for the Navy is the one at Pearl Harbor. So uh, I would like to reiterate um, my concern along with that of my other, with other senators that you will be very focused on what we need to do to proceed with these so, matters. Senator, I, I had the good fortune of um, building one of our Navy's newest destroyers and lived in a shipyard practically for a year and a half mm -hmm. while she was being built and uh, having first-hand experience with dry docks and shipbuilding. And I want to applaud you and the other senators on this committee for your commitment to our uh, shipyard capacity and building industry. It's incredibly important to our national security. It's incredibly important to our economic security for the nation as well, too. And uh, I know that the Navy has a, uh, a SIA plan to invest in our shipyards, $20 billion over the next 20 years. I know that there's legislation before the Congress to try to include additional money through the shipbuilding industry uh, as part of the infrastructure plan. I applaud all those efforts. And I fully commit to you that I, if confirmed as Secretary of the Navy, that I will look into this particular issue with regards to cost overruns and do everything mm -hmm. that I possibly can to correct the situation and put it back on track. I think timing of the building of the dry dock in Hawaii is very critical, and we can't afford to have uh, huge cost overruns and delays. I uh, appreciate your um, uh, reiteration of paying attention to these areas. For you, um, again, Mr. Del Toro, the Indo-Pacific Area of Operations just huge AOR, includes many island nations such as Palau, Micronesia, Samoa, Marshall Islands, etc. cetera. Do, do you agree that our continued collaboration with these countries plays a vital role to our national security? It absolutely plays a vital role to our national security and becomes increasingly more important as we face the growing threat of China and the Indo-Pacific um, logistics becomes incredibly important. We have to um, advance our, our platforms and our troops as much as possible. Collaborating with all these um, countries and islands and is, is incredibly important. And I look forward to, if, if confirmed, to be able to strengthen our maritime diplomatic strategy in the Indo-Pacific and work with all these communities. I will be very interested in what you will do to strengthen these relationships with these island nations because I think we have an ongoing commitment to these island nations. We could do more to help them with their e economy, just, just to strengthen their um, positions in, in the Indo-Pacific area, especially with China's whole of government approach to these island nations. Again, for you, um, Mr. Del Toro, 
It's concerning to me that over a year has passed since uh, the, the investigation into the fire uh, on the USS Bonhomme Shore occurred. And this, this was a four-day fire, and it destroyed a $4 billion amphibious warship at a time when we can ill afford to lose any of our ships. Um, so I would ask that you focus on what, what is uh, taking so long in this investigation. It's been over a year. That's somewhat unusual. Uh, in these circumstances, and I would like to hear from you as to, uh, what, of course, after you are confirmed, as to what is happening with this investigation. Senator, if confirmed, I commit to looking into the issues with regards to the timing of these investigations, and more importantly, looking into the substance of what occurred. Also, I, I note that uh, there is a huge range of, of, of numbers in terms of the number of ships that we will eventually have. And uh, I note that uh, there is, in the 2018 NDAA, we're talking about a 355 ship Navy. And then I've seen uh, ranges going from 398 ships to 512 ships. How can we even proceed with these kinds of numbers being tossed out? So. Uh, I would be very interested in talking with you further once confirmed, of course, as to w whether we can get more accurate numbers about our shipbuilding schedule. Just one more thing for uh, Mr. Connors. The Army Corps of Engineers has a huge role in Hawaii, particularly uh, w with regard to the upcoming, uh, the renewal of the leases for training ranges in the state. And without these training ranges, it will be very difficult for the military, particularly the Army, and the Marine Corps to stay in Hawaii, as far as I'm concerned. So I would invite you to come to Hawaii and, and to be able to recognize how important it is as we go forward with these renewal of leases that the, the community is very much kept abreast of wh what we uh, plan to do. So I would welcome your coming to Hawaii for that purpose. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator.